Good afternoon, B series. This is Daphne Ball coming from you. And I am in the process of I'm going to try to make stuff bell pepper. I've never done it before, you guys, so this is a new one for me, too. I'm just trial and error. I'm going to put a couple, of, I got a, my brown rice. I'm going to have a couple of brown rice I'm going to cook. And the cheese we're going to have is Colby and um, shredded cheese, Colby and um, mozzarella. Got my bell pepper and onion. I got my bell peppers already cut. I got six of them already cut. They're different colors. And I've salt and peppered them. I'm going to take them and bake them in, in my toaster oven about 15, 20 minutes. Take them out. And I'm going to stuff them. And I'm going to stuff them with hamburger meat that I got here. I'm going to cook. I'm going to put some bell pepper and onion in the hamburger meat. And I'm going to use this sauce right here. This chunky um, Mom's Special Garden to give it a little but it won't be dry so I'm gonna take y'all with me this is my first time doing this you guys you know how you try to do and do and do yes but I'm gonna come back with you in just a minute like get everything set up I'm back on that's LaDonna y'all I'm gonna have to probably sense you down because she listen to music but um I got my hamburger meat in this uh skillet I'm gonna put some onion powder you guys I don't measure so don't ask me about measurements I just look at it and I'm from the old school my grandmother taught me how to cook and I just add stuff. I don't measure. So don't um, ask me about measurements and stuff. I just I just season to look right to me. I just season to look right to me. Some paprika. From the old school, you guys, I don't measure. So don't hold it against me because I don't measure. But anybody got my hamburger meat up in here? I got my bell pepper and onion over here, already cut up. I'm gonna saute that together and cook that together so we can have some. Um... We got water hot. Damn, they got water hot. Now my water be so hot in my kitchen, I promise you. The hot water tank gets turned down, but that water, for some reason, is just so hot. And I got the um, hamburger meat, and the lean's gonna get the. I trust the toaster oven and I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator because I don't think I need all this meat. Like I said, I never tried this before, so it's new. So it's a new, new for me. And I got my bell pepper onion, salt and pepper, and I cut them, pop of them, and clean them out. And I'm gonna put them in the oven. My daughter told me to cook them. So, and I got my brown rice in this pot right here cooking. And I'm, I'm thinking I ain't, I'm not going to need a lot of... I got bleach in the water, it's a lot of hot too. Um, a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is ours. First time, bring it to the oven, Nene. We're going to bring the toaster oven on. Start cooking in there. I'm trying to... Give my rice a chance to get cooked. It's going to be hot. These are my hot holes, y'all. Because I be getting burnt like I don't know what. Have a little pot holders and stuff I don't use. Stuff I don't use. Want to use. So, you know, I stay burnt up. I'm going to be. I stay burnt up. The rice is already cooked. I'm going to turn it down low. I'm going to turn the water on here. She's gonna bring my little doohickey and I'm gonna get started. Put this in a bag. We we can get some love. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too long. Um, yeah, we got the bell pepper. Why ain't the hamburger meat getting ready? We got the brown rice, you guys. And listen, people. I'm gonna tell y'all. I, I worked last night. I got off work and went to the doctor at 9 o'clock. I was going to the doctor. I'm, in them fitting all in my fittings thinking I hadn't I had gained weight or something but it, I didn't do anything. I didn't lose I didn't gain so I was just tired. But I've been my arms and stuff have been itching and I was telling her about it. And some kind of way it's like a skin from it is what she was telling me. And she was saying that um evidently I got the kind of pH that he looks. So I've had it before and I got some medicine for it. And I had got it under control. I said, but it's, it's out again. It just, my arms just itch. And you know, 
and it kind of discolored the arm, you know. So yeah, I got some cream and stuff for it. I'm gonna see if it's gonna work. It's just on a certain time of year that it's, it's bad. And uh, we were just discussing, you know, jobs and everything. I really like my doctor. My doctor, she's a good doctor. And she listens to you. You know when you go to the doctor and if a doctor don't listen to you, you know, you be looking like, that doctor don't never listen to what I got to say. But she's a good doctor. She listens to what you say. As you can tell, I got my bell pepper. I put some salt and pepper on them and put them in the baking dish. My daughter told me to bake them for 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to turn them around. Because, you know, usually with an oven, with a toaster oven, that side and so i'll be worried about this side because you know most time you got an oven you got a big old door that pushes up so i'm gonna let them toast 10 minutes on that side then i'm gonna turn my container where it be toasted equally and i'm i'm getting my um bell pepper and pepper to get together and then once they get done i'm gonna mix that together give me just a second you guys and you guys i give me a fork and it's and I, oh, it's good. Just right. Not too salty, not too whatever, just right. So I've been cooking so long, so I just kinda look at it and um do it. And if I have to add some more Add some more seasoning, I'll do it. But it's perfect. All the bell peppers here. They've been in uh, almost five minutes. Then I'm gonna turn them over in 10 minutes and we'll do the other side. Cause I don't want one side, cause usually with my toaster oven, I find that it um, cooks it um, uneven. So I have, to, I have to turn it so the other side will uh, cook. But you BC ears, I tell you, I worked last night. I was so tired. Ooh. I said, I'm getting too old. You know, I'm just playing, you guys. You know how you just have a real long night, and that's my third night. You know, I just worked the weekends, and it was day three of the quarantine. So, yes, I'm I'm ready to be out. That's what I was saying to myself at night. But I enjoy my job, and I enjoy uh, working and stuff and everything. And uh, like I said, I've got some projects that I'm, I'm going to get undertaken in my house, uh, upgrade my bathroom. And uh, I was going to do my kitchen first. I think I'm going to do my bathroom first. And then I'm going to do my kitchen. Because I want my, um, I want my privacy in my backyard. So I can sit out in my backyard. Because I live in like a curb, so. And I got, you know, like, security alarm system and I've got like um the security doors and I got bars on my windows but that's my fear I'm sitting in my backyard and somebody jumped the fence but you know I don't think so my son said he don't think so but like I told him you never know about these people in day and age I can hear a dog in the background she's um she's got her new music now she started to use um she always liked Lil Wayne and she know I can't stand her this little way because he be cussing. And then she, she and I hear and I look at her and she'll turn it off real fast. Because she knows she's not supposed to be listening to her. But she likes future. And she loves Fantasia. And this week she's been listening to Keisha Cole. So that's the new thing. She's been listening to Keisha Cole. And she's been calling herself saying. So she enjoys herself. She loves music like her dad did. And then sometimes she'll listen to music. And I say, what the heck? Did you get that from? But I know her dad used to listen to that, so I know that's where she got it from. You guys don't miss it from a strainer. I should already have it out. Oh. Oh. For the strainer, for the strainer, my knee. So, I should already have it out and together. But you know how that is. I'm going to put my strainer in there. Like that, and strain it. And then I got a, I, I don't throw away my jars where I get like pickle radish and stuff like that. I keep those jars and I use those jars to um you know, waste the meat on stuff. I use those jars to um pour my grease in and cool it and I throw it away like that. Because I don't have I did have a garbage disposal but I was having so much trouble out of I got rid of it. 
I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And I got rid of it and I got me another cabinet to give myself more space. I'm just gonna pull this off in here and get a get it um as much um oil out as possible so I can uh, put it back and put my um sauce on it. But everything's coming along nicely, you guys. Okay. In about another minute I'll be turning it over. See all that grease come out of that hamburger. I really should have used turkey, so I said I'm gonna start cooking more with turkey. Is what I'm gonna do, and so we're on this healthy life kit thing. And I even had the nerve to drink some good sirna, but it wasn't bad. I said, okay, well I can drink that. So that's what it's about, you know, trying to eat something and drink something that you don't normally want to eat or drink. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. But I'm gonna come back at you. Here come the dinner, you guys. I'm gonna come back at you in just a minute when I get everything uh, ready to put in the shit in the um. Bell peppers. And you guys, this is how my meat looks. This is how I want it to look like this. And then when I put my rice in there, I'm gonna see if I need to add any more sauce because I don't want it to be real um, loose when it go on my little things of bell peppers. So I'm waiting on my rice to get ready to put it together. I got my bell peppers in the oven. They got another uh, six or seven minutes. And I'm gonna assemble it, put it together, and come back with you guys and show y'all how it looks before I put it in the oven. I think I did a combo. I'm gonna, let me see. But you know, I told people eating healthy is expensive. It's really expensive to eat healthy. And that's just how it is. Yeah. And this is how my bell pepper looks since I put it in the oven. And this is how my meat mixture looks. I think I got too much meat. And then my rice, I'm waiting on it a little bit longer. Then I'm going to put it together, come back, and show y'all the results. And y'all, I hope it tastes amazing. Because the bell pepper, even like it, it smells so good. They smell amazing, y'all. Yeah, bye. Hey, everybody. Just come to you to show you our dinner. We're having stuffed bell peppers. They look amazing. This is my first time doing them. And I'm going to do them in my toaster oven. And I'm going to come back and show y'all how they look. Yes. And this is the finished project, y'all, and the results of the stuffed bell pepper. I don't burn, y'all know, I don't burn my hand two places. You know, I say, if I don't burn myself, I ain't cooking. That's it. And they look like they're gonna be delicious. They're with um brown, right? We got brown rice in them, bell pepper onion saute, a little uh, sauce, and uh, mozzarella cheese, and some um that cheese velvet on? and Kobe. Velvet and Kobe. Y'all, they look amazing. They're gonna be delicious. Bye.